find a woman, woman, woman in every way. Yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day. Yeah, yeah. Are you in Welcome every to Every Way Woman. Woman. There are some major changes happening in the talk show world. Live from Los Angeles, here's Every Way Woman. creating a talk show and the two of you had the decision of the cast mm -hmm. how did you make that choice it was easy the women choice. yeah in some, in some ways choice? it was really really easy um usually yolanda and i knew sometimes within the first 10 seconds yes uh, first impression is everything first yes. impression is everything because we already knew what we wanted in the discussion leading up to okay the show what, what is it that you host? wanted we wanted women that, uh, women on the panel that were not celebrities mm -hmm. we wanted women that other women can relate to. Because originally yeah. it was real women, real stories, real issues, a show for women, about women, and by, by women. women. <laughs> which everybody is using now. But exactly. you know what I think is so beautiful is that we are all real women, but every one of you is successful in their own Different. right. And I yeah. truly mm -hmm. find you inspiring, mm -hmm. even though I, I know the real stories, okay? <laughs> and it's still, you've, you've all taught me and, so and much. And that's really what it's about, we, to inspire other women. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and to create a community for women, where we could talk about real things. Yep, and you never know when you're casting. We did an open casting, uh, it was in um, Burbank, mm -hmm. at a restaurant, and we did a casting, and here comes in Stacy Lewis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Miss Stacey. conservative, <laughs> turtleneck up to here in the, um, in the look. It was, I think it was like March. Right, yes, and, 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 and uh, dress all the way down, down, down here. Was she and, carrying her Bible? Yes, because I would not be surprised. I don't wear makeup, I haven't worn makeup in 20 years. Right, that yeah. was Stacy at the time, and uh, how far she have come since then mm -hmm. but you know we're going through the interview process and we we're asking these questions we realize she is the perfect mom that we're looking for <laughs> and she and then what we because we wanted women not to just be diverse culturally right and we also wanted to have them lead diverse lives mm -hmm. as well and um, I connected to Stacy right away um, I was in, um, going to be a mom soon and she was a mother working mom two kids she's a primary caregiver for her her children and for her husband devoted wife mm -hmm. yeah and it was funny because Stacy is never afraid to tell you who she is and I like that about her and that's why I related to her because yes. she comes in she's like you know what I'm a conservative and she and doesn't make she doesn't apologize for, for who she is nope. as well and and there are several things that we looked for that all of you have that all of the co-hosts co have and one of them is that um, all of you move from here all of our co-hosts move from here mm -hmm. and that was important for us I remember when I first met Stacy me and her like just I hold her dear to my heart because first off I met her at her home we had a mm -hmm. rehearsal there but um, she was so open about uh, you know a certain topic that mm -hmm. was brought up which was molestation yes you know and uh, you know not knowing, you know, that it had happened to me too, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe, maybe mm -hmm. knowing, but mm -hmm. nobody really shared it. It really worked as therapy. And, right, yeah. and I looked at her as my therapist and, and all yeah. you guys. And, and, and that's, that's the whole point of the show. I cannot cast, we cannot cast women that other women can't relate to. Right. The only way our show is going to be successful is that all the women actually are willing to open up and share and their stories. Yes. And care about, about other women yes. as mm -hmm. well. All of you have a quality where you care about other people. Mm -hmm. And that was really important to us, not just about yourself, but about your community, about getting yeah. out but ladies, to the community. Don't get us wrong. We don't always get along. No, we don't always have an opinion here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're women, of course. And we're women. Opinions and, yes. you know. and but uh, going back to Jeslyn, let's talk mm -hmm. about Jeslyn. She is the most oh, humble boy. person I have ever met. Yeah, and she's are. the most giving and what? sometimes too giving, you know, and, and very to a fault. humble. I'll admit that. I, but, I give to a fault. And you know, those things about Jeslyn, I love. She's really funny and she is very giving. But I remember the first time I saw her on camera, and I remember the guys coming out and saying, do not let her get away. And I was like, I don't plan on to. So that, that was really great. And just to know that 
she, she's there. Because we've had a lot of great women come and go, which is great. Yes. A lot of women have grown the show. We've had every uh, ethnic background. Right. And we but, have great speakers and we have great guests. Every way woman has evolved yes. for years. But we struggle in one category. We could not find the Latina that we needed. And it was, it, it was so funny because <laughs> we're in Los Angeles. I'm like, oh my God, why can't I find this woman? <laughs> right. So one day I'm opening my email and I go, I know Gina, Gina, she's uh, Thank she you, has, Gina. Gina has sent me. She said, "I got this woman for you. Her name is Anna." I said, "Okay." Blah, blah, blah. And I, I had other stuff going, so I really wasn't paying attention. So this email comes, and this big picture comes up of this Latina. And I said, I emailed her back. I said, "Are you auditioning for the show?" I forgot why she was coming on the show, and she was so perfect. And I remember when she came in for the audition, and I was like. I'm just going to tell you what to so say. Right. I'm going to tell you what to do because you already got the part. Right. And but what we what we really love about Anna is that um, you don't represent a stereotype. Exactly. And that's kind of what what was a little frustrating for Yolanda and I is getting away from the stereotype. We aren't stereotypes. You know, we, all all of you, you're not stereotypes. And I, I can relate to Anna because she's this Latina woman. She has her own business. Mm -hmm and you don't have any kids, and that is breaking so many rules. Yes. You're yeah, breaking the Latino community. Yeah. You're, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You're breaking all the rules, but that was perfect for us. She's a trailblazer. She yeah, is a trailblazer. And she's inspiring, and we're looking for love that's together. Why, yes, <laughs> yes. That's why we have our different women, different opinions, and we always have great, great conversations. Great conversation. That's right. That's right. So. Thank you, the two of you, Thank for including you. us Thank in you. the show. More Every Way Woman when we return. <laughs> Coming up next, more Everyway Woman. Are you an Everyway Woman? Everyway Women are concerned about real health issues and topics. Stay tuned as we get real about our health. We're back with Every Woman, and real women may do it all, but they are not invincible. Healthcare is so important to Every Woman. It is really important. It's very important that we create segments that's going to give women as, and men as much information as possible. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like on talk shows, they, it has, I think they glamorize illness. Yes, they do. They kind of make it, uh, they do it. They glamorize it. They make it like, wow, this next cure, this next thing where it's really, when it happens to you and your health is down, it's, that's not how it well, is. Well, and the healthcare shouldn't be treated as something trendy. Yes. It should and that's be what it seriously. has turned into. And we, as um, patients, we go into, the, we already go into the unknown. And we really don't know what's going to happen. So we're trying to give uh, or create segments where people know what questions to ask them. Mm -hmm. Because I know when my husband goes to the doctor, I make the appointment, I tell the nurse or the uh, secretary on the uh, other line, check him for this, 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 and this. Well, what's he's, not, he's going to remember. Well, it, because we all, let's not lie, we all mm -hmm. go on the internet and we self-diagnose. Yes. <laughs> we Google <laughs> everything. Which is, I mean, it's a really bad habit of mine. I'm not going to lie. Well, here's the thing is that, the, you know, the, well, what is regulated on the internet, on search mm -hmm. engines, is very minuscule. So people can put things out there that say that they do things they don't actually do. It's not until it's on the label that the FDA is uh, regulates Well, it. Mm -hmm. and what's interesting is actually there are a lot of talk shows in the hot seat right now for endorsing these trends yes, and endorsing true. these yes, medications yes, and pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. without the proof. And, mm -hmm. you know, the viewers, the audience, the real women and men out there are trusting us. Yes. Right. We want to be yes. able to give them the truth. I, yes. I found our segments really useful for me being single, somebody mm -hmm. that never really looked into going to the doctor when I was younger. Were you scared but, of that? No, I was just living my life. But now it's like yeah. everything, I feel like, oh, my God, my back hurts. What is it? Right. You know? and, sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes the truth isn't pretty. No. And sometimes mm -hmm. the solution isn't easy. Mm -hmm. But my point was like going back to the segments that I watch, even when I'm on set, it's like, wow, that I didn't know that. And you're right. You know, and what she said about that. the truth not being pretty, it wasn't pretty for me to be in my 30s to find out that I have menopause. It was a lot. I was like, what is going yeah. on? But it what was more you, disappointing with the doctors who mm -hmm. wouldn't admit it. And they say, oh, no, you're too young. They didn't listen to you. They and you know listen. your body better than anyone. And exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of people d miss over, is that, that quite often they're already intuitively understanding what it is that they need mm -hmm. or what's going on. 
But that having that intuition doesn't always help because sometimes that intu intuition is scary. Well, and, and they don't want to know. And it's so great for me to be able to have you ladies to discuss that with. And I know maybe even for some of you as well, because when you talk to your grandmothers or your mothers, <laughs> they're not exactly always open with it. Yolanda has a really funny story I talked to this. my mom about, uh, and grandmother about menopause. I said, hey, you know, what time did you, you know, what age were you when you went into menopause? Oh, I don't remember. And my doctor told me to take Tums. Tums. <laughs> and I'm like, really? yeah. Tums. I was going to help. <laughs> and I, it is from, from minorities. It's already a struggle for us to even talk about. Why? I don't know why. We hope my mom knew she had a lump in her breast for at least two to four years before she said anything that turned out to be wow. breast cancer. Right, and it's so that's why, not uncommon. Why wouldn't she say something? Because God, God's will. Right, and but also it's not uncommon because if you think about those generations going back, they just didn't talk about those mm -hmm. things. It was a no-no. Once it was said, it was solidified. Well, the Latinos are different. The Latinos, every well, no, no. not Latinos. <laughs> my, in my family, they talk about, oh my God, mija, me duele esto. It's like, they're always yeah. complaining. No, 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 no. <laughs> my mom took me to school with the chicken pox and told me that it was mosquito bites in the middle of winter. No. <laughs> yes, because she didn't want no. to face that there was something wrong with us or that we were sick. And we had to be sent home by, you know, principal to go, uh, you can't send chicken. your kids to school with chicken pox. You know what's Are interesting? You serious? <laughs> when, oh my when I was younger and still to this day, I try and just, you know, power through. And I think women do that a lot rather mm -hmm. than, you know, we listen to our bodies, but we're trained to tolerate so much pain, whether it's through our home hormones That's or menstrual true. cycles. And That's we think, like, oh, it's just another mm -hmm. pain. I'll get through this. Oh, it's a headache. I'll get. And we don't yes. necessarily always listen to the signs that we mm -hmm. need to be listening to. And we need to listen to those signs. Those signals are coming clear because I, this is my thing. If you don't take care of it now, it's going to cost you more later. And that's the message that we'll keep trying to hammer home mm -hmm. here on every women. Preventative right. care. But not yes, just that. As, exactly. If, if you understand what's going on and you can relate that to someone in our audience and they're connecting to it, it might give them that opportunity to then connect and reach out, go go to the site or or, or go take a doctor's visit. And I'll Google Watch your, right, yeah. so watch, Google, watch, Google, watch Google. Watch Google. Google isn't Google. always right. No, it isn't. I love Google, but well, and just because you have health insurance, you might not have health care. And it's really great to learn how to navigate that system and you know sort that through, especially with what our government's you know trying to figure out right now. Mm -hmm. Having and this getting foreign to yeah. discuss it and getting important. real information. Even if it's really scary, take care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Stay with us for tomorrow's stars. Are you in every way woman? Every way women have hidden talents just like you do at home. Sometimes it's knowing how to fold the laundry and sometimes it's singing that high note, even if it's in the shower. Every way woman celebrates tomorrow's stars, but we have a few talents too. Anna, what are you keeping from us? I paint. Draw. You paint. I mm -hmm. draw, paint. Well, that makes Big sense. painting, <laughs> right? Right. Well, but, you, you, but you can't. It, on women's faces, they're canvas. Yeah. So you paint women's faces. I love all day to long. blend. You're an artist. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. You're a true artist. I also bake, though. Really? <laughs> yes. You bake. I had, I had a business that, other than my other business, but when I first you started, mm -hmm. I, I used to bake. You know what Joe Hilton talent is? You have a lot of business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I talk to you, like, oh, I do voiceover. I have this other I do voiceovers too. I do t-shirts. All type of stuff. So. Oh, uh, that's really cool. I love that you have all these hidden talents. Well, I, I speak French. That's one of my hidden talents. Oh, Aren't you self-taught? Um, well, I wouldn't exactly say self-taught, but it's always been a passion of mine. I think I was French in a past life, or you know, a mm -hmm. wow. you know, person in a court okay. somewhere. But so I, it's always just been a part of me. What is the best way to learn French? Because I've been trying to learn French. The best way to learn French is to live in France. Okay, if and you can't live in France. No, but no, truly, like <laughs> I, I, I moved to France for six months, and I started dreaming in French. Mm -hmm. And it was one of the most what? beautiful moments when I woke up, and I thought, wow, I truly understand. That said, I am very out of practice and it takes some good French wine to really get that accent. Mm -hmm. under I took control. French in college and I, I remember. Took, wait, 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 I can top that. I took three years of high school French <laughs> and we and were only, I have, you know what, I did YouTube French. I try, yeah, I try and speak Spanish, but I just say French words and try and make them sound Spanish, which I think a lot of people do when they try and speak another language. Right, yes. Or say Eng yeah. Eng English words and try to make them sound French. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. You know okay. what I say? Road trip to France. That's what I got. Well, what are you, okay. you hiding from So, us? I cannot sing. I cannot dance. Yes, not, none of that. But 
I can pick up on your habits and I can start talking like you, and I can start moving. So you're an movement. impersonator. Yes. I can impersonate people. Okay. That is true. All the time. That is true. Yes. Yes. Right, right now. Right now. I can't do it right now, but it's usually I can't do it. Okay, Stacy. Stacy, right now. Well, Stacy, I have to be moving because Stacy has. Stacy is different, but it, you have to have something about you. If you have a way you walk or you do something, There's I can. An observer. Yes, I can pick it up on it. Madison. <laughs> Okay, so, so mine, I grew up in a military family, so mine is, um, I can call Cadence and march a battalion. Okay, we'll take those marching orders and come back after this break. More every white woman. You can do what? I can march a whole battalion. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> I was like, what? That was what? a good one. That's That's are you in every way woman? Coming up next, more every way woman. Are you in every way woman? Every way woman is breaking out, and our goal is to keep you informed no matter where you are or where you end up. Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So if we had a crystal ball, where would we be? I'm wondering, what's next for Every Way Woman, Madison? The world. The, the world? world is in our hands, and it's going to be better off for it. I so agree. prophetic. I know, right? Yeah. It's, but uh, I do agree. I think that every way woman has so many possibilities. Mm -hmm. And when we sit down, we talk about what can we go and what can we do and who can we reach. We want to reach everybody. I mean, mm -hmm. our show is built to be national and international. It's built to be taken out of the studio. Yes, Absolutely. it is. And you're a queen of nonprofit. I mean, you do so many speaking engagements. For me, I mean, of course, it's, it's, it's getting to the top. But for me, it's more touching lives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the whole incident with Starbucks, I, you know, I would love to have more, you know, to right. be able to touch more lives. To, for another, to the next person up, to say, yeah. to tell me, you know, Absolutely. you gave me hope. Absolutely. It's if there was an there. Everway Woman in Dubai, that would be amazing. If we could have a, a, a show from there, because that a lot of people mm. internationally move there. A lot of people from Sweden, Germany. Um, you have the Arab cultures there. there it's, it's really a different kind of melting pot. Mm -hmm. And so they're dealing with all different other kinds of, of um, issues when it comes to socializing with each other and being what people say tolerant, and that word bothers me, but being tolerant of each other and each other's differences. Well, we have the opportunity to go beyond Southern California and reach out and reach into the lives of you know the places we grew up. I grew up in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. I want to go. I want to go back there. I want to go to Chicago and my hometowns and really connect mm -hmm. with those people. And it's such a great opportunity to give them a face. It's a cool. voice. Yes. You mentioned Midwest because it was one of the things when we actually put in consideration that our show, when we was talking about the yeah. creating the show, it the show is really built for Middle America. And I'm from Middle America. We love you, Middle America. I know, <laughs> Illinois. And but you know the opportunities are great. But we, I can see us in workshops and networking events. Mm -hmm. Our green room comes alive. You should see the people yeah. networking in the green room, mm -hmm. and it's great. It's because they're, they're they see opportunity. They meet other like-minded women, and they just. Go crazy. Well, and in that's there. interesting and you say like what minded women because every way woman mm -hmm. isn't just the name of a show, mm -hmm. it's a lifestyle. It's yes. being an mm -hmm. every and way woman. And one of the things that's really important to us is that that we participate and give back to our community. Mm -hmm. And and this is one type of community that we live in here in Los Angeles, but there are many different types of communities that have different needs and they have different hearts and they move with a different rhythm. And we want to be able to reach out to all of those different, like a, a symphony coming together, right? You've got the drum, it makes a sound, it has its own and beat and you together. mix well, it. Well, you know, it, it's been beautiful because um, for the past two holiday seasons, Every Way Woman has adopted several families and we went downtown Los Angeles and we wrapped the presents and we packed them and we hung ornaments on their Christmas trees and you know, we, we shopped for the children. And it was such a beautiful thing mm -hmm. because, you know, I, I got her name and her age and all she wanted was Hello Kitty. Mm -hmm. And we, we really had just been blessed with the opportunity to, mm -hmm. you know, bring hope. And yeah. I, I'm so excited to be able to be a part of a platform that, that can really do that. Yes, that, that shows the community that we care about. Them. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it does make you want to cry because when I think about, I remember when we did that. And then we also did the makeup bags for the girls at the orphanage. And when she told us, she's like, oh, the teenage girls. 
this is what they need. Because the, everyone forgets about the teenagers. And it's really how we, be, um, then she told me about the teen boys, and no one thinks about the teen boys. And it, they it, need, yeah, you know, so they and, do, and, please can we have some, some socks or some underwear? Some boys, socks or some underwear anything. and the undergarments. And yes. we, when we really and, realize and it, how it it's came beyond. About toys it's basic right. needs that we're pro providing cool. but th that people's. is that is where where i where i envision everywhere every way woman ending up everywhere mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, getting the women in that community to be involved in their community um, because i think that's become a lost art as well as we move into technology we become more isolated and i'm sorry Ellen. No, 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 go ahead. Um, so we become isolated with technology, and sometimes we forget that it actually takes the hand to, to I'm sorry. You women are going to make me go <laughs> all here, too. Another thing is that we, our main goal with creating Every Way Woman was to get other women voices. We have, voice, we have a voice here in the United States, whether we like it or not. And there are other women around the, around the world that do not have the voice that right. we have. It's, yeah. And you they know, can and, stand and, and, and up that, that's for themselves. That's so personal to me because yeah. my sister-in-law um, is, you know, from the Middle East and she moved here and she got a voice. And our family was able to, you know, give that to her <laughs> and, help, and help protect her in that. Mm -hmm. And that's such a blessing that we have in America. Yeah. And, yeah. Being, and being for me, Latina, you know, being able to touch other people's lives and so on you tell them yeah you can do it too yeah. you know look yeah. look at me like yes. you can do it and your voice hope. is really important because the latino woman is she's she's still catching up a little bit you know what i mean because you know we had to okay now the black woman is you know mm -hmm. she's caught up because sometimes our culture you know can keep us down you know i don't think it, it's a matter of even just the black woman or the latino woman it's all women and sharing our yeah, story. And, and yeah. bringing all women up regardless right. of you know the age or race or socioeconomic mm -hmm. background right. we want to celebrate you and we're going to continue to do that in the future in every way possible with every way woman stay tuned and you know what every way woman gives back to the community go to everywaywoman.com to find out how you can match our donations of undergarments for needy kids thanks for getting to know every way woman this has been an Everyday every Woman production. Woman, 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 in every way, yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day, yeah, yeah. Are you in every way, woman? I'm an everyday woman, 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 in every way, yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day, yeah, yeah, are you in every way, woman? I'm an everyday woman, 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 in never we wear, yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day, yeah, yeah, are you in every way, woman?